Hey guys, this is Kayla with Becky's Graphic Design in Nashville, Tennessee. If you've already watched some of our videos, go ahead and like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. It helps us out, boosts our analytics, gets us a little extra cash on the side to help us keep making these videos. Today I will be showing you how to get InDesign to automatically restart the numbering on your lists automatically without having to go through and click restart numbering on every single list. So just to illustrate what's going on, here's probably what you have to do every time you have a numbered list in your text. So as we can see, I have my regular body copy, then I have my top number list, then I have a Roman numeral list that goes underneath, and looking here we can see that this list goes one, two, three, and then it starts doing a Roman numeral four, five, six, hops on up to seven, eight, nine, and then ten by the X here. So in the past, what I would have done is I would have right clicked on this, told it to restart the numbering, and then restart the numbering, and then restart the numbering. This is fine for a small sample, but whenever you have a whole book that is completely filled with numbered lists, you really don't want to have to do a manual restart numbering on every single list. The other problem arises whenever you do a clear overrides. So watch this. If I highlight my text and I clear all the overrides, the lists go back to their default formatting. Now they are all a continuous list again. So let's go ahead and go play with our paragraph styles. I only have three styles right now in this, uh, this document. I have my body, my numbered list, and then the numbered list as a Roman numeral list. Let's go ahead and look at our styles for the numbered list. Just so you guys can see, so what happens if we click this option that says start at one? Well, now every single instance of the numbered list starts at one because it sees each line as a new paragraph. That's not gonna work for us. So what do we do? First of all, we need to use levels in order to trick InDesign into thinking that the body text is level one. So let me illustrate this here. Think about creating a list in say Microsoft Word. You start off with that top level list and then when you add say a bulleted list under the numbered list, it will do an indented list that is level two. Then if you add a, another numbered list inside of that list, that is now considered number three. Every time you have a level, there is a new indent in the list. So this is the same for InDesign, it just doesn't automate this. So we have to do it for it. So we're gonna go back now to our body and we are going to tell our body that it is indeed a numbered list and that it is level one. So let's open up our body paragraph style. We're gonna go down to bullets and numbering. We are going to tell the body to become a numbered list. We are going to tell it that it is number one and we are going to get rid of the numbering portion of this by simply backspacing everything from the number row here. Now, after we take away this row after it's blank, now we want to make sure that this option is not continue from previous number. We always want this one to start at one. This will reset the list every instance of the body paragraph. Okay, now you can see that these lists are starting at 234, da da da, and then starting at 234, and so on. Now we're going to go in and modify the level for the numbered list, which is the style. Let's go down to bullets and numbering. Now, we want the level of this list to be number two. This is the second level in the hierarchy. Um, and we do want this one to continue from the previous number. 
We don't want it to always say one, 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 one at the beginning of every paragraph style. We want it to continue from the previous number, and we do want it to restart the numbers after any previous level, which would be level one, the body copy. All right, let's click OK. There we go. Now we can see that the numbered list is starting at one every time it comes across an instance of the body copy. Now we need to do the same thing for the Roman list. We're going to go over to bullets and numbering, and this one is going to be level three, the third lowest from the top. And same thing, this one is going to continue from the previous number and restart the numbering after it encounters any previous level, whether that be the body or the number list. Now I click OK, and there we go. Now we can see these lists restarting every time they encounter an instance of the prior level. Okay guys, I hope you found this helpful. Um, go ahead and leave a comment below if you liked the video, if it helped you out. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.